everyone and welcome to Beyond Fig Leaves Costume and Sewing. This is a video tutorial for five unique and simple ways to fold a napkin for your dinner or special occasion party. Okay, so this first way to fold a napkin is one of the easiest you can do. Just start it with the napkin facing up, grab the center and pull, put a bow around it and then adjust to how you like it to look. I don't want to tie it too tight here, I just want it to look like it's relaxed, not strangled. So then just do a regular bow and then make sure the bow is not twisted in any way, just making sure it looks as natural and clean as possible. And then just put it on your plate and then you're ready to go. Now another variation of this is to stick a flower or something simple just into it without, you know, being over the top or anything. All right, let's move on to number two. This napkin folding technique is called the angled pocket. This one you start with the fabric right side up and you fold the left half over the right half and make sure everything is as flat as you can get it and all the corners match up and everything. Now, once you fold up the bottom half over the top half, the top right corner will have all of the open corners. So take the first corner and bring it down so that the opposite corners meet. Then flip it over and fold it into thirds. And then once you flip it back over, you have the final look. Just put it on your plate, stick a flower in it, and you're ready to go. Now another variation of this look is to add the silverware instead of the flower or anything else you might have on hand that would look good stuck in the napkin like that. So we'll move on to number three. Now number three is called the classic pocket. This one's quite simple. You start with the wrong side facing up and you fold the first quarter of the napkin down or take the bottom edge and you fold it up so that it just covers the hem of the other side. Flip it over, fold it into thirds, and then flip it back over for the final look. Stick the silverware in or whatever else you want to stick in there, a menu or a name card, anything special like that. So number four is called the diamond pocket. This one you start with the right side up and fold the right half over the left half. Now this one you have to make sure everything is lined up quite right otherwise the look, the final look just doesn't look right. So then you fold it up bottom over the top and all the open corners are in the top left now dead center. So take first layer and then bring it all the way down so that all of the corners match and all the edges meet and no wrong side of the fabric is showing. Take the next two layers and bring that down just like you did with the first so that it's about an inch to an inch and a half away from the bottom. Then flip it over and fold it into thirds. Now I would recommend ironing this as you go to make it a really crisp look, as crisp as you can because then it will stay that way. Then once you folded it back over and you have the final look, stick whatever you want in there. So we'll move on to number five. Number five is called the banded angle. This one's kind of strange. So again, you start with the fabric right side up, fold left over right, and then bottom over top. Okay, this one's kind of strange. You just take it over, fold it over by one inch, and then just keep working it, just ever so slowly, keeping it as flat as you can. It'll feel strange, but just keep working with it. Just keep folding it over, we'll go one more and then right there to where the corners meet and you can't really fold anymore anyway. So then you take the next two layers since you only want the right side of the fabric showing, just fold it over by an inch and then just keep working it until you get to the edge of the first roll. And right there I had to fudge a little bit but that's normal since there's only so much fabric to work with. So again just iron this as you go to make it as flat as possible and fold it over and then fold it into thirds and this is where it gets a little 
flukies just with all the extra fabric there this is where the iron will really come in handy so fold it into thirds fold it back over and you'll notice that the bottom left corner is the wrong side of the fabric so what I ended up doing after I stuck the silverware in was to stick a flower right underneath just to cover up the wrong side of the fabric So this has been the tutorial video for five unique and simple ways to fold a napkin for your dinner party or event. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. So I guess there's only one more thing to say.